Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross where this week we are at Century Link Field in Seattle. This is the next round of the championship. We had a little bit of a break over the Easter weekend, which I hope all you guys had a good Easter. This time around though, instead of being in the 250 East category, in like the support category I guess you could say, we're in the 250 West. So it's going to be our first time in the 250 West for the year, so it'll be interesting to see how all the other competitors perform against, well, how we perform against all the other competitors, I should say, as we're going to see a lot of new names and new riders in the 250 West division. But, as per usual, our main sort of focus is on the 450, and hopefully we can get another win on the season in that category. Alright, without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this first heat in the 250 West, and hopefully go straight through to the main event in the 450 category as well. Here comes another gate drop. This time, it will start the second 250 heat race of the day, where once again, only the first nine riders will earn that highly coveted ticket straight to the main event. All right, here we go. First 250, well, actually second 250 West heat of the night. It's the first heat race for us. We managed to qualify on the pole, although I'm not heading straight for that freaking wall of dirt there, so I might just select this gate. I just know if I select that, then I'm just going to be a hard right hand down turn before I get there, so... I'll go with the Thor gate, but... Yeah, we managed to grab pole, and albeit by five seconds, so... <laughs> it's, it would seem that the AI is not too good around this track, but... We'll see how we go in the heat race. Um, just got to get out in front and go 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 <laughs> I guess I mean I don't think we'll have too much of a sort of competition in the 250 West tonight we'll have to see how we go in the 450s as I haven't ran that qualifying session yet but yeah no, this should be interesting to say the least Sound rather sick. Come on, I'm just going to nail this section and get away. Oh, wow, well, that's whatever the hell was. Okay, come on, turn. Alright, it's two second lead at the end of the first lap. This is on the hardest difficulty, by the way, so it just would seem that they need to change the difficulty <laughs> in the next update or something along those lines, because it's getting quite easy now, especially in the 250 category. Mm -hmm. 
section, right? Gosh, I can't even see the AI anymore. Oh, they're there. Adios, we are out. Gosh, at this rate, we're going to end up lapping people in the heat race. Which has never happened before, I might add. fun with it. I must admit though, the Seattle Stadium in this game looks pretty cool. Especially when it's all converted into like a supercross track. I mean, that's so cool. Home of the Seahawks. played a full franchise mode on them, well, on Madden with them this year, and that was one heck of a fun series, I must admit. Massive NFL fan. Got so close this year, did the Saints, unfortunately. I mean, one of the craziest endings to any NFL game of all time. Uh, I'll let you guys YouTube that if you haven't seen it, but uh, it was heartbreaking for any Saints fan. We came so close. We had it, we had the game literally won, I think. We had the comp uh, no, divisional round, I think we don't, didn't quite make it to the conference round, but had the divisional round basically won and screwed us over, it was so depressing, but anyway, As the that's an easy heat win. Wraps up, let's take a quick look at the results and the names of the four riders who will be moving on to the main event. So, Plessinger second, Martin third, and Chisholm in fourth. Yeah, fairly straightforward. Let's see if we can manage to do the same thing in the 450 category. Although I expect that'll be a little bit harder. Alright guys, now before we get into this 250 heat final, you're probably wondering where the 450 heat racer <laughs> was supposed to be. Now unfortunately I had an issue with recording my 450 heat race. It seemed to crash halfway through. I don't know why the recording failed. But anyway, unfortunately just a little bit of a bug that'll hamper our night. But we, we did manage to win that heat race. So we're straight through to the main event in the 450 category which will be coming up shortly after the 250 main event so hopefully we can continue our form into that one. Hi everybody I'm Ralph Shaheen welcome to our live coverage of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship from the beautiful Pacific Northwest. The track crew have put together an extremely challenging design here in Seattle. This is one of the toughest tracks we have ever seen inside CenturyLink Field. The riders are going to have to be at their absolute best if they want to win here in the Emerald City. You can hear the cheer. He is the crowd favorite. Will that be too much pressure or the motivation for him to get the win? All right, I'm going to go with the exact same gate choice as why is there tough blocks dropping out of the sky? All right, anyway, <laughs> let's just notice that in the back of the screen. All right, so 250 West main event. We are, well, we're technically starting on the pole, although I've selected the fifth gate choice because I don't want to be heading straight towards that freaking mound of dirt. But yeah, hopefully we can get some sort of decent result and get another win in the 250 category. This is my first main event in the 250 West, so let's make it a good one. Oh, nailed the start again. Oh, wow, okay, didn't quite nail the second a bit. Oh, wow, 
Wow, overshot, jeez. to relax and you make lapses in concentration like that. <laughs> Exhibit A and B. Uh, I swear tough blocks are the worst thing known to me. jump please <laughs> for once in your life it's so hard switching back from the 450 to the 250 i say it every week but it's just so difficult it takes me like three laps to sort of get back in the groove for this bike versus the other bike oh, come on.
on that. Jeremy Martin and Plessinger, who are second and third in our heat race, are not even in the top five, so I don't know what's happened there on that front, but this is proving to be a rather easy main event. Okay, so Plessinger's in 12th, but he's way down. how long you can get out of a set of tyres on a sort of dirt bike, especially in like, say, Supercross, like proper super, Supercross. I have absolutely no experience on dirt bikes whatsoever, as you have probably already noticed. But, yeah, I've always wondered how long you can get out of a set of tyres, because you're on dirt, so it's not like the friction, I mean, if you're on knobbies on a road and I'd imagine they'd wear out pretty quick as we totally just tripled over the top of some guy. But on dirt, when they're not really digging into the surface, well I don't imagine they are. And I, I also wonder whether different compounds make a difference, like a softer tyre, like dirt bike tyre would make any difference to a hard I'd imagine it would, but I'm struggling to see why as I just totally take a shortcut. I mean, I assume they have to wear out at some point, but when they're, especially on loose, loose dirt, or sand even, I wonder if they wear out at all. As now we're really into the 
deep part of the field here. Forty seconds now. We're actually only ten seconds away from lapping the whole field. Not even really caring about some of these rhythm sections anymore, just holding a flat for the lads. Final lap, so we're not quite going to lap the whole field, but we're going to get pretty close. Oh wow! Okay. And there it is, winner, winner. <laughs> uh, had a lot of competition today, I must admit. It was a hard-fought race, but the 250 main event is done. All right, Let's so we pretty much lapped every single rider up until 12th. <laughs> That's ridiculous. We would have actually lapped all the way up to 10. We probably lapped Martin there towards the end, but unfortunately fell off. All right, another win on the season in the 250 category. Now, unfortunately, we're not doing any sort of championship in this category or the 250 East. The only championship that we're running is the 450 so we can't really keep points or anything in this carry, although I would not, oh, I'd like to see where we are <laughs> compared to some of these other riders now, but Davalos gets second, Dakota, I've never heard of that guy in third, uh, Plessinger fifth, Jeremy Martin down in tenth, so fun, easy race, I wouldn't really call it fun, it was rather boring out front by myself, but anyway, a win's a win, and we'll move on to the 450 main event. Hi everybody, I'm Ralph Shaheen. Welcome to our live coverage of Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship from the beautiful Pacific Northwest. The track crew have put together an extremely challenging design here in Seattle. This is one of the toughest tracks we have ever seen inside CenturyLink Field. The riders are going to have to be at their absolute best if they want to win here in the Emerald City. He has the speed and the style that makes him a fan favorite. All right, here we are back in the 450. Now, unfortunately, uh, as I said before, I did uh, have an issue when recording my heat race in the 450. So for some reason it sort of crashed midway through recording, but Hopefully this <laughs> main event works. Uh, we did get the win in the heat race by only seven seconds in the end. So it was Cooper Webb that was pretty close to us in his Yamaha. I believe he's running Yamaha, but he, yeah, he wasn't too far away in the end. So we've got to keep our foot down, I guess, in this main event. But for the most part, the rest of the field was quite a way back. So we shouldn't have too much trouble at least getting on the podium. All right, so I'm going to go with the same gate that I've been going with all night sort of like the fifth gate back, just the straightest gate to the first corner. Alright, so we got Roxon, Webb, Anderson, Muscan, Dungey actually had to go through the semi-finals, so that's why he's down in ninth. Yeah, hopefully we can get our second win of the year in the 450 category. Alright, here we go. The 32nd board is up. Keep an eye on the gate. It's a about to drop. Alright, come on, let's get this all shot. Oh, nailed it again. My starts tonight have been on point. Come on. Oh, come on, frame rate. Yes. Clear space, clear track. Oh, just ran over the top blocks. Wow, they're still going through like the second corner. Check him out. Must be it's the strangest feeling from racing in real life. 
whenever you were like on the pole or started in the lead or got to the lead by like the first lap, you know there's oh, come on, Joseph. you know there's a whole pack of like 24 in my case 24 cars behind you, but because they're all so close to you, it seems like there's no one else on the track. So all of a sudden you roll around and it feels like you're the only one on track. You got this massive crowd watching you and like they're all sort of watching you but you sort of forget that there's a whole pack of cars behind you. The only way you sort of know they're there is by if they're really close to you then you can sort of hear them. But we've got a bit of a lead now so you see the rest of the pack just rolling through that first rhythm section. Say it again, it's so hard to go from the 250 back to this bike. Yeah, no, Seattle is being very kind to us, that's for sure. We seem to have a lot of pace here. I hate coming here in. Madden 18, but I love coming here in... I well, didn't say that, I totally screwed up that tape top. I love coming in here, or coming here in the Monster Energy Supercross. Should be 
coming up to lap some of the back markers here in a sec. Oh, okay, there's another tough one. Chad Reeds checked out in second. If only he was that quick in real life. He's sort of my favourite rider. Him and Malcolm Stewart are my two favourite riders in real life right now. Chad Reed because it's Chad Reed and Malcolm Stewart is a... I know a lot of people aren't fond of his personality but I quite... I think he's quite entertaining as a rider to be honest. Especially when he was racing in the 250 category. make the cord that time.
like that. Big win. What a tremendous so we managed main event. 27 seconds over the Chad Reed. Results after a hard fought battle for the victory. All right, so 27 seconds over Chad Reed, surprisingly enough. I uh, wouldn't have expected Chad to get second here, but Dungey up to fourth. Dean Wilson with a good result there in third. And Roxon, Muscan, Millsap, Seeley, Brayton, Anderson, Webb, and Baggett round out the top 12. So an awesome result here this week, or well, Saturday night, I should say. Those three were phenomenal. They definitely were the stars of the night and earned a spot on the podium. It actually looks like Chad Reed as well. All right, so as you can see with that, we open up a 12-point lead over Dungey now. So we'll continue to hold on to that red plate going into, I think we've got three rounds left on the season. So this is looking like a good sort of point or place to be in that healthy 12 point gap going into these last couple of rounds now once again I just want to remind you guys that this was on the hardest difficulty so I can't make it any harder usually I do like to give myself quite a bit of a challenge as you may see in my some of my other series I don't quite have it as easy as what I'd like to be especially in Formula 1 right now in Formula 1 with Williams I'm seriously struggling with that car so sort of rolling around to the back but for the most part here on Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game, we are sort of rolling along to a championship here. We've just got to keep this stuff up on this, uh, keep this sort of form up on this Yamaha YZ450F. All right, thanks guys for tuning in. Stay tuned as we are now heading over to the bitumen side of things for the MotoGP Grand Prix of Argentina. That should be a lot of fun over on MotoGP 17/18. But yeah, no, looking forward to a lot more motorsport to come on this weekend on my channel. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in once again, and until next time, I will catch you guys later.